welcome back to my channel and if you're walking to this little space for the first time i'm priyanka and i make videos about everything so i'm just going to give you guys as per your demand the most common hr questions that are asked in any interview be it canada be it india it is asked every single way and also note that that these are the most common questions i'm going to make a new video post this thing where i'll be telling you about the most unconventional HR questions and the HR questions I have been asked during all the interviews I have given till now. So let's get into this video. Also note that these questions are available online. They are on, present on websites and everything. But I'm just going to give you a quick rundown so in case if you are someone who does not like to read, then you can just listen. The first question is the most classic question that is tell something about yourself. Now you have to remember that when you say something about yourself, you are not just talking about your profession about your experience but you are also talking about your achievements you're talking about your personal stuff and most importantly you're talking about something that is not present in the scene now the second question is what are your strengths and weaknesses when you say something of strength and weaknesses they are more your personal traits rather than your professional traits so when it comes to strength you have to talk about like you can be a natural leader you can lead your team you can be this you can be that and when it comes to strength don't say things that I'm never on time. <laughs> say things like, like maybe I'm too organized and that's where I lose my time at times. Or, you know, uh, for me, my weakness is that I don't brainstorm enough. So those can be your weakness. Do remember that you are still sitting in front of your interviewer. You are not there to establish a relationship with them. You're not dating with them, that you're going to be extremely candid. Because when I talk to a lot of my clients and when I ask them their weaknesses or um, their personal incidences that have changed them, they often talk about their breakups. Do not do that. It's good to be honest, it's good to be personal, but not this much. So the third question is, what do you think your job profile entails? So they are going to ask you, what do you think your job profile is? That is when they are going to check that you have actually read that LinkedIn or job profile description and you're not coming andhadun over there. So they are going to ask you that. Ooh, the fourth question is my most favorite question. I think I kill this question each time it is asked. That is, why should we hire you? So you need to give that why you are the perfect fit for this thing. But do remember, you cannot be negative about the other applicants. Especially if you have something like a GD or something with them, you cannot say, look, that applicant is like that. No, you cannot say. You just have to emphasize how good you are for that company question is what will you learn from the company so this question actually is not just professional related but each company has some goals or some moral values that they stand by so you have to you know casually slip in those things also like for example if I'm going for a social company that you know is very concerned about the society or something then you can casually slip in that I would be helping the society and I would actually gain an experience on how to do the same thing like it it's a very crappy example but I hope you get that. Next question is, what values do you bring to your team? You cannot say, I am a leader, so I bring myself to the team. Don't say things like that. Say things in a very general perspective that I'm a very positive person. I bring positivity to the team or I'm very proactive in my work and I hence I get the same thing. So more of positive collaborative values rather than they saying things, I'm a leader, I can lead the team, I'm very punctual, I'll ask the team to come on time. Don't do that. Next question is, again a favorite question of mine that is what are your salary expectations so when you say salary expectation if that job is something like fifty thousand dollars a year don't say eighty thousand because you think so highly of yourself you're not going to be hired say something that is nearby to the standard value so you can always negotiate when the time comes right next question is more or less related to the same question it is actually asked in huge companies not so much in the small level companies and that question is how much compensation do you expect from us so compensation is like they have a salary expectation you have a salary expectation so what is that middle value that you're willing to compromise it can be a positive value it can be a negative value so you have to decide what that compensation value is next is again a very classic question that is describe your work under pressure so how do you work under pressure is like a very classic question so you have to say that you function really well under pressure I had two, three clients of mine when they were giving mock interviews with me through subjecting. They used to say that they used to get anxiety. Um, they used to breathe. They used to meditate. Um, try not to put in so much emphasis on those stuff. Rather just say that you work well under pressure. You are usually constructive in that zone. You are very productive so you don't lose much time. Say things like that 
So the interviewer does know that you are not someone who likes to waste time or gets very anxious or is overly emotional or short tempered. Try to keep your emotions and professions really separate. It's that simple. The last question is what role do you play in a team? So this can be something like a team leader, it can be something like a team follower, active listener, uh, someone who has a lot of empathy in them. So it can be several, several stuff. So since you cannot be just one thing because you are human, you have several traits in you. Try not to be binary with your answers. Try not to be very extreme like I'm a great leader. No, you're not a great leader. Martin Luther King was a great leader. You are not right now. You are not Barack Obama. You have to be in your place. So you have to say things like I'm a good leader, but I'm an active listener. I am someone who tries to establish, you know, uh, an open space where everyone can talk. So you are a mediator. Say things like that, which is balanced, which is not something heavy. And hence you have your way with the interviewer. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. And if you have any more HR based questions that are like the most common questions, do note it down below in the comment section so someone else can benefit from it. Do know that everything is from my opinion and my experience. I can't be wrong. I can't be right about it. And also the fact that there's going to be a part two coming on very soon. So stay tuned and share